This video was brought to you by Wallop Technologies, plus a $300 super thanks from Roko Sorakti. He's an Arcade Heroes superhero member, so thank you very, very much for that. Arcade Heroes. Greetings gamers, it's Adam with ArcadeHeroes.com and we've got some news today, uh, particularly about some new games listed on the Betson distributor website. Um, Betson, if you're not familiar with them, they are a company which is a distributor of arcade equipment and so they are based out of New Jersey but they service all of the United States. They have locations uh, or warehouses uh, in different parts of the United States and they also do some international sales too. Um, but sometimes, or oftentimes, manufacturers don't post their products first. They give the information to one of their preferred distributors, and then the distributor might post it. And that's the case with all three of these games today, which if you go to the manufacturer's website, at least at this moment, they're not located anywhere there. <laughs> um, but the first two games we'll discuss very briefly um, were, uh, I reported about them on ArcadeHeroes.com. Uh, with the recent post there, um, and then Drakens, which we'll get into uh, also, um, covered that on location test previously. Uh, but the first one we'll talk about, or I should say before I get too far ahead, is you get, if you go to Betson's uh, product catalog, arcade games, and then choose new releases, then sort by latest, then it'll show what I'm seeing right here. Um, but Hypercross is a snowmobiling game. And it's being sold primarily through Sega Amusements. Uh, the hardware manufacturer to this is a Chinese company called Baohui, I think. And they have some information on their website over on the English side, including this flyer there, which also kind of just lays out everything that you see on the Betson site here. Although they did write out a good description which i'll read here for you prepare yourself for an unparalleled snowmobile racing experience with hypercross brought to you by sega amusements international the game features a remarkable three degrees of freedom motion base that delivers a supreme immersive gameplay experience i'm gonna be reading the word experience off a lot in today's video uh, the twin cabinet setup includes two full-size snowmobile replicas captivating track lighting and a grand billboard making it stand up a standout attraction in arcades, FECs, and bowling centers. With 10 thrilling cross-country tracks, 5 unique characters, and an upgrade system, Hypercross offers both casual and hardcore players a challenging yet captivating racing adventure. The force feedback, wind effects, and impressive surround sound further enhance the realism, immersing players in the heart-pounding action. How many adjectives can uh, one fit into your descriptions? <laughs> That's the, um, the goal of distributors, I guess. Uh, with its striking design and exceptional gameplay, Hypercross is the perfect ultimate choice for arcade enthusiasts and a must-have at your arcade, family entertainment center, or bowling alley. And then it lists things out in these bullet points, including some details not from that description, such as sharing scores with SNS. Maybe that was supposed to be SMS. And show off your high score. You can link up to four players, so two twin units. These are sold as a pair. And then two 42-inch monitors, which maybe are 4K, maybe are 1080p. I'm not 100% sure. Um, just says, present wonderful HD images on the manufacturer website. So it's not fully um, laid out there. Um, but that is Hypercross, and that will be at the Sega Amusements booth. I would assume probably not the Betson booth since, again, Sega is the kind of the point man in the States and Europe for this particular game. Uh, but going back, uh, I mentioned this one here, Lane Master Extreme, on the site here, I think it was Friday or Saturday, um, along with Labyrinth Pinball. Um, but I wouldn't expect to see Labyrinth Pinball at IAPA. <laughs> but uh, Lane Master Extreme uh, had some details here from that including the little video jump ahead a little bit so this is a sequel to lane master which if you've visited an arcade since 2016 or so you've probably come across the original lane master um, they've added uh, some extra special effects to the 
uh, lane there, as I recall. It also has this new Powerball power-ups uh, where you can get a ball and then scan it uh, there with its QR code or barcode, and then it adds a power-up into the game. Uh, it does more than just 10 frames of bowling, of 10-pin bowling as there are different waves with different challenges and it's incentivizing players to just keep throwing the balls as quickly as possible. So a little bit more alley bowler like or ski ball if you prefer uh, in that regard, but just upgraded all around. So it'll be interesting to see this one, uh, particularly the software and such, because I remember the first Lane Master when that came out, the software needed a bit of work before it was ready to go and um, hopefully this one won't need any polishing like that that it is ready to go out of the box but that will also be a die up at the Eunice booth and then last but not least is one that we've been covering for a while and that is Draken's Realm Keepers which as I've mentioned every time I brought this particular game up this was originally seen back in the spring of 2021 and we saw this on test, and one of the readers on the Arcade Heroes Discord, he got some video of it uh, on his phone. Uh, it was a very different game at the time, where it was, I guess, a little bit more like Blazing Angels Arcade, where you were riding a dragon and you could roam around an arena of sorts, attacking enemies. Um, but that apparently didn't work out too well or test too well. And so sometime much later, uh, which was recently, or this summer to be more precise, it was the appearance of this cabinet at a location in New Jersey. Now, oftentimes, not always, but usually when I hear of a location test in New Jersey or that general area, it's usually being handled via Betson. And so that's where it's been listed on their website first, I guess. Uh, but as you can see, this cabinet here is dramatically different from the one that was initially seen on location test. But instead of you riding a dragon controlling its movements around an arena, uh, now it's an on-rails light gun adventure game. But uh, what was very interesting, you probably already noticed this, and I know other readers already did too, it uses micro LED panels, and you can kind of see the seams between them there, uh, but it creates an HD image, and that's all we really had about this one up until today. Um, also, there, the video, if you want to see what the original looked like, uh, I embedded that there. And so, um, yeah, but let's see what Betson has for it. And so here's the newer cabinet rendering rendered image, which looks pretty close to the on location one. In fact, I would say it's not really any different. Obviously, the one on Betson is a 3D rendering and so uh, somewhat photoshopped. I guess the uh, guns have changed color. Uh, but otherwise, there's a motion base, sliding seats, your mounted guns, and then your giant display. But let's get into the description for dragons. Soar on a gigantic dragon. Shoot enemies and conquer new realms in this thrilling high-flying ride. Prepare to embark on an exhilarating adventure like no other as you hop on the back of a fearless dragon and take flight into uncharted territories. This thrilling ride is designed to ignite your imagination and provide an unforgettable experience for you and a friend. Feel the adrenaline rush as this magnificent dragon comes to life with fast and realistic motion, all thanks to the cutting-edge technology of adrenaline's state-of-the-art patented motion system. Just a thing to throw in there is that um, adrenaline had originally developed this motion base for dragons for the uh, location test version, uh, but when that didn't work out as they had hoped, they still used it and it's actually been released on the market for some time now with nfs heat takedown the deluxe version and so the same motion base if you've come across that nfs heat takedown that they're using there it's also being used here in dragons as uh, so just just a little footnote i guess with up to 16 degrees of movement, you'll be fully immersed in the heart-pounding action as you navigate through treacherous twists, turns, and dives. <laughs> uh, reminds me of the, what is it, Guy Fieri's uh, Diners, Drive-Ins, and Dives. <laughs> 
Um, but that's not all. The excitement is intensified by the immersive 7.1 audio system that surrounds you, ensuring every roar of the dragon and every clash with the enemy feels incredibly real. And with interactive seat vibration, you'll truly feel the impact of your courageous battles as you soar through the skies. Get ready to unleash your skills and explore nine thrilling levels spread across three luxurious environments. <laughs> it's an interesting word to use. Each realm presents its own unique challenges and breathtaking landscapes, ensuring that every ride is a fresh and captivating experience. Um, so I almost should do a drinking game. I drink every time you get experience <laughs> in anything arcade related, not just this one. As you explore, Conquer these unexplored realms. Be prepared to face hordes of enemies and epic boss battles that will put your skills to the ultimate test. Sharpen your aim, unleash your most powerful attacks, and emerge as the victorious warrior. To enhance your adventure further, this exhilarating ride features a massive 85-inch LCD screen that brings the vibrant, detailed world of this high flying dragon straight to your eyes. Uh, I guess there would be a little correction to make there is that it's LED, not LCD, as I'm pretty sure that there's no such LCD that's shaped it like a square. Um, but tomato tomorrow, I guess. Um, where was I? Lose yourself in the stunning visuals and become fully immersed in the fantasy realm. The benefits of this one-of-a-kind ride are undeniable. Attracting new customers, increasing foot traffic, and delivering a highly engaging and entertaining experience. Drink for all. Get ready to elevate your FEC to new heights with this thrilling attraction thrilling we could have that as a drinking word too uh that combines the power of imagination technology and fun are you ready to soar on the wings of a gigantic dragon conquer new realms and experience the high-flying adventure of a lifetime unleash your inner hero today hey, arcade hero and then uh matches one two yeah just another summary and also like i said it's likely not an L actual lcd here but Betson has posted to their YouTube channel this uh, trailer here. And so what does concern me, I did watch this uh, in advance, so uh, I'll admit that there. But it's odd to me that the seats are being rendered. Uh, I guess I don't fully understand why that is and not just the dragon. It almost seems like the dragon should be pulled back a little bit. <laughs> Luxurious worlds. <laughs> The finest of the fine. But maybe this is also not... This doesn't appear to be fully in-game. Like, it doesn't have the UI over it. Like, the score and the targeting reticles. Sorry, just had to help a customer there. Uh, but the trailer was pretty much over anyways. So, yeah. Um, it's interesting in that uh, I, I like how this is an original creation. Uh, I like the cabinet design. I like the use of LEDs to create a type of display that you're not necessarily going to get at home. I mean, I guess you could kind of get that uh, like a square shape using a projector, uh, but I don't know of micro LED panels being this readily uh, readily available thing for residential customers to grab. And as I've mentioned many times in the past, one thing that I always like about arcades and promote about arcades is the fact that you can do things in an arcade that you can't do with home gaming, generally speaking, uh, because you can manipulate the display in special ways that just aren't feasible uh, for doing on a home console or with a phone, something like that. And that also includes the controls and things like the motion seats and uh, surround sound and all that. It's like that with an arcade, you can create this package that is custom designed for the experience. And that's why and the reason why in this industry, you come across the word experience all the time, drink. But uh, <laughs> um, yeah, I do like where they're going with this one. Just I guess the verdict is out on how it plays exactly. It's like I said, it is a little odd because also if you look at the cabinet rendering image, I mean, maybe this is, was just something pulled from the uh, that attract video there and that was just done for the attract video and it's not in game. It's just if it is in game, it's very weird to me that they take up that much space. So hopefully that's not the case. Hopefully you just see your dragon. Uh, another thing that uh, popped up, as I recall, from when this was on location test is this is, did not appear to have any leaderboards. Uh, but it had scoring in-game. And so hopefully 
Uh, there is an actual leaderboard feature that shows up during the attract mode. I think that's something that should be in every single arcade game out there. If not, I'll bring it up to Adrenaline and uh, see if maybe they can add it in case it was missed. But overall, those are three new games, again, listed on Betson.com. They'll probably be showing up at other distributors soon. Uh, just funny thing is, is none of the manufacturers have these listed on their website yet. That's just a little weird quirk. Uh, from the amusement industry is so often the manufacturers won't um, unveil it on their own websites until sometime after their distributors do it. So I'm not really sure why they do it like that, but they do. Um, but overall, please stay tuned for more news. I have some Raw Thrills news from three different games um, that I've been sitting on and or just waiting for extra details on. Uh, one of them is a brand new thing that's never been discussed before that uh, will certainly be getting a lot of attention at IAPA. And uh, tomorrow I'm actually going to be going back to the uh, Gesture Art and Design in LA and going to be getting a look at the latest software for that. That is a game that will debut, or sorry, Food Flight will debut at IAPA 2023. And I'm going to see a much more complete version of the software uh, what I'd seen last time and the reason why I didn't include footage of it being played was it was still very, very early. And so what is going to be there, what I'm going to see tomorrow, what I'm going to film tomorrow and be able to share with you all is going to be more complete and playable. And uh, with that, uh, just stay tuned. And of course, if you're a member to the channel, again, thank you very much for your support. And you will be getting some uh, early previews on certain things as you have already. So just uh, stay tuned to that. And if you want to join to get that as well, well, feel free to sign up. But thank you very much for watching and we'll catch you on the next video.